Hi everybody, I'm Patrick. I'm gonna show you how I made a small dashboard out of an old iPhone that I have that I don't use anymore. First of all, I put a wireless charger under the plastic here uh, in this power parts that I bought. So the wireless charger is connected to the motorbike. Uh, I bought an OBD MX Plus Bluetooth link that I connected to my ECU. I have the 690 year 2021, so I have the new smaller OBD connector and it's located right behind the battery. Um, so I connected this and I downloaded the app that belongs to that one. So let's see, you start this one. And then you go to the Bluetooth connector connections. And here you see OBD Link MX Plus is what I bought. It works with iPhone and other phones, I think. Okay, and then you just start the app. It takes a few seconds before it connects. Okay, now it's connected. So you see it's 13 degrees, the motor is cold. The fuel consumption has been 3.7 liters per 100 kilometers for me and there is an instant consumption. This is what I choose to show. And okay, so uh, it was hard to talk uh, while running this uh, uh, wings exhaust okay so then you disconnect it and this uh, OBD link is a smart one so it automatically disconnects when you turn off the motorbike so it doesn't drain the battery that's why you see the communication error as well okay I would like to add a few things in the end of this video about the solution I would like to add a few pros and cons that I could see with the solution and also I could, uh, inform you about the weight of this solution. So a little bit about pros and cons. What I like with this solution is, first of all, it's very easy to take off the phone with the Velcro, put it in the pocket if I go leave the bike. I like the, posi uh, the, the placement of this um, dashboard. It, it's doing its job, uh, showing me the speed and the RPM. I was in particular missing the RPM on the standard dashboard. And uh, yeah, to see the temperature of the, of the motor or at, uh, the cooling water plus the, the fuel consumption is, is, is also not bad. I also think it's very easy to install and it's quite handy that this solution uses the standard uh, OEM sensors that is used already on the bike. The speedometer uses the speed sensor that is already on the bike. The temperature, uh, temperature indicator is using the original temperature sensor and, and uh, also the RPM is using the uh, information of the RPM from the OEM sensor on the motor. A couple of negative things that I see is that, first of all, there are quite a few reports that the camera module, on, in particular in the iPhone, seems to break due to the vibrations of the bike. So I don't recommend to use a phone that you haven't scrapped. I mean, if you have a phone which have a bad battery or, or is broken in, in other ways, as I had, then it's 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 a good solution to use it and also i think that uh, the location i have now is the part of the bike where it vibrates the least i think the vibrations are amplified uh, the further from the center you go but that's just my theory so let's see if my camera in this phone will last or not another negative thing is that each time i turn a bike off and turn it on it I haven't found a way how it automatically connects to the Bluetooth. I need to go into the phone's menu and connect it to the Bluetooth each time, which takes a few seconds, but uh, it's pretty annoying. 
it would be great if if it could work automatically. I'm sure there is a way, but I just haven't invested any time to troubleshoot it. If you start about the weight of the components, first of all, I bought a USB charger that I connected to the 12 volt output that is located behind the headlight, headlight mask in the 690, probably also on the 701. There is an outlet, 12 volt outlet, which is activated when you turn the key on, which I used. I attached this USB charger under the uh, handlebar pad, so it's uh, hidden. And then I connected the wireless charger to this USB charger. And those two together were 68 grams. The handlebar pad is 156 grams, the OBD MX Plus. Uh, Bluetooth link or scanner uh, plus the adapter cable was together 96 grams. The iPhone X I use is 174 grams and grand total is 494 grams, which is not really ultra light in my opinion. 